Hey everyone, my name is Puru Roda and I welcome you all to this channel. Today we are looking at the problem custom sort string. This is a medium level problem on Leetcode and it is on the easier side of the medium spectrum. Now let's look at the problem. Order and str are strings composed of lowercase letters. In order, no letter occur most, uh, occurs more than once. Okay. Order was sorted in some custom order previously. We want to permute the characters of str so that they match the order that order was sorted. More specifically, if x occurs before y in order, then x should occur before y in the return string. Now what this question states is that our order string is sorted in some custom order. It's not like A, B, C, D. It's some custom order. And for that custom, same custom order, we want to apply that same custom order to our str string. So basically we want to sort our str in the same manner as our order is sorted. So now let's look at the example. The example state that C, B, A. So that means C will come before B and B will come before A. Now the string is A, B, C, D. Now as C will come before A, we will put C at starting. As we know B will come before A. So and after C, so we will put B after C and before A. And now we know A will come at last, so we will put A at last. Now after that, we are left with this character D. Now D can come at any place because it is not specified. So D can come at first, D can come at last, D can come in middle. So D can come at any place. So C, B, A, D is an answer. Okay, so we can even have an answer DCBA, CDBA, CBDA. So these are all valid answers because our, the CBA order is being followed. So now it's if you look closely, it's a very easy problem. Uh, the very first approach that we can use is to create two loops. We can convert uh, this string into an car array, car array and uh, we will create two loops. First one iterating over the array and the second one iterating over the str. For a particular character in order, we will look when that character occurs in the string and when that character occurs, then we will add that character to a string that will create a new return st uh, string that is to be returned. So we will add that character to the string and replace the specific index in car array with zero. So when we do this, our, these elements, those occurring in the order, will be sorted in that particular order and the elements that don't occur in the order string, that example D in this case, will be left. So that we will need to sort our array, that care array we uh, took earlier and uh, after sorting that we will need to uh, put all the remaining elements and concatenate them at the end, at the starting or anywhere in the string. So this is a fairly simple approach. I will show you the code that you can write for this approach. So you can uh, pause this video and have a look at it. But today, uh, now we are going to take a look at a more optimized approach. So I'll first write the code and then explain you alongside. So now we will create an array that will count the frequency of how many times a particular character is being repeated in that string. So as the, it will be counting for all the alphabets, so size of this array will be 26. Okay, now we have initiated this array. Now we will uh, create a loop and read through the every character of the str string so that we can know the frequency of the every character. So now uh, what I have done here is I am iterating over the every character of str and at the position of that character. So what I am doing is I am looking at the character and that is at the ith position. Suppose it's b. So the sky code for b is 98 and 97 is for a that is why I am subtracting 97. So if it's a the sky code will be 97 and if I subtract 97 from it so it will return 0. That means our index will be 0. So with starting with 0th index, we will increase if that correct, uh, if for every time that character occurs. Now this is very simple thing to do. Now the next thing we will do is, we will iterate over the order uh, string and for that uh, particular character, we will check the frequency and add that particular character according to that, many that much frequency. So uh, this here alpha order dot caret i minus 97. So order dot caret will give me the index for the particular character and this here will provide me the frequency that is how many times that particular character is to be repeated. 
now i need to add that specific character this many numbers of time so what i will do is i'll order dot character i dot repeat so i'll use this repeat function so repeat function works on string and we are getting a character over here so i'll need to convert it into string so now what uh, this step will do is i take that this character and then convert it into a string and then repeat it for the number of times that character occurs in this string str so after this step will be done we will have that first character that is the first character in the order and it will be added the number of times that is repeated in str now as it is added we need to change its frequency to zero so what we will do is we will take this position and set its value as zero that's it now after the step is done all the characters that occur in the order will be uh, that occur that are present in uh, order and are also present in str will be sorted now the characters that don't occur in the string order but are present in the string str will be left for that we will need uh, need to create another loop I just copy the same line over here. Why I am taking this uh, i is less than twenty six is because this time we are not iterating uh, over the uh, uh, any specific array. We will be iterating over this alpha array because we will be adding the alpha uh, those alphabets whose frequency is still present that is not set to zero. So we will take it care. so we will get the character as we were uh, to create that specific char into integer we were min uh, subtracting 97 from that character to convert that index into character we will add 97 so i plus 97 will give me an ascii code for that particular index and this char will convert it to into a character and this will this whole thing will convert it into a string now with string i am using this repeat function this repeat function will provide me with the frequency now here i don't need anything sort of like this i just need the frequency of that particular ith position so now let's return okay let's try to run this code so you can see this is working let's submit it so this code is accepted so this approach of ours will take the complexity of n and this is a fairly good approach that you can use if you uh, want to improve your complexity if you want to reduce your time by a little bit more then you can use string builder but uh, that is not very worthful because it will reduce your time by just milliseconds it won't reduce your complexity from over to anything else so this was the video hope you like it and i'll see you guys in the next one